warning, if you have epilepsy, I, I honestly think this video might affect you. That's how bad the muzzle flash is on this gun. So, warning. Hi everyone, MTash here, and today we're going to be looking at the new auto rifle from Iron Banner, the Forward Path. Now this thing has some amazing rolls, and the first one that I got is actually pretty sweet. But is this thing going to replace something like the Gnawing Hunger, which is also a 600 RPM? Or the Suros Regime? Well, that depends if you have sunglasses or not. Let me get into it. But first, a word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Frag Pro Shooter, a mobile game with over 30 million players that can be played in third person or first person depending on your preference. The rules of this game are simple. You get to the enemy base, you blow it up, you win. But let's talk about that a little bit more in depth. The goal is to destroy these targets in the bunker and the tower, but first you need a team. You're gonna make a deck of five characters, and each of them have different strengths and weaknesses. Now, here's where it gets pretty cool. You make a team of five, and you get to control one of the characters, but you can swap between them at any time. The other four characters are controlled by a computer, so if you want to make a really aggressive team that pushes with you, you can do that. Or if you want a very defensive team, you can do that as well. Each character is going to have strengths and weaknesses, so you need to play around with them and test out different team comps if you're looking to win. There's even a new 2v2 game mode where you can play with a friend or match up with randoms online. You make a team of three, they make a team of three, and you dominate together. It's beautiful. Now, if you're thinking about downloading this game, you can actually get some awesome rewards if you use the link down in the description below. You get a golden chest, 500 coins, and 50 diamonds to get you on your way, and that's worth like $6, so it's a pretty good starter pack. Go down to the comments, go down to the description, and click that link and download Frag Pro Shooter right this second. Okay, get your game on, gamers, and uh, let's get back into the content. Now, you might be looking here. <laughs> wow, MTashed. No wonder you need sunglasses, because the sun is blaring into your eyes. Oh, what's this? The sun is pounding my retina and I can't see anything? No, it's actually the forward path. Ah! And my eyes! Uh, sorry guys, I'm not sure if you caught that. Are you seeing this muzzle flash right now? Is anyone seeing this muzzle flash now? Let me just show you the gnawing hunger, okay? You see, there's like a there's like a little bit of muzzle flash, like, hey, I'm shooting the gun. Let's 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 give some feedback that the, the gun is being fired. Okay? You see those little flames? Those little flames trickling into where you're aiming? Okay? So let's look at that. And then look at this. Ah! <laughs> Brother! That muzzle flash isn't just trickling. That muzzle flash is taking over your whole damn reticle! Now, now come on, I mean, maybe MTash, maybe it's just because you're using this red dot micro. Maybe if you changed up your, your, your reticle. Oh, you think that will help me? Ah! Boys, this is an auto rifle that has some pretty damn good stats. It's got some pretty damn good rules. It's actually potentially one of the better overall. But if you can't see what you're shooting at, how are you gonna hit anything? I mean, guys, we all know that your aim is pretty bad already. You don't need this making it even worse. Zing! Listen, um, if people start strafing, if people start strafing, if there's any sort of sunlight in the background, if there's any sort of shadow that might trick your eyeballs just a little bit, boys, this gun is going to make it so much harder to hit the target than it needs to be, it's not even funny. Now, I, again, have a pretty solid roll. See this thing? Eye of the Storm? I love this perk. Dynamic Sway Reduction. This got a buff recently. Not bad, okay? Could I get some more stability here? Sure. You know, could I maybe get some stability here? Absolutely. But between not being able to see anything and needing sunglasses to play properly, like maybe I just throw on these blue light filters. Can I see? Nope, I'm still fucking blind. Uh, between that and <laughs> the overall kick of this gun, I just, I'm struggling. Now, 
let's go over the roles really quickly and see what you would potentially want. So I didn't really touch on this in the video, uh, but it actually has some really good roles potentially for PvE, right? We've got multi-kill clip, we've got feeding frenzy. There is some potential here if you're looking for a kinetic weapon to use in PvE, uh, but I don't even really mention that. So don't, you know, don't completely throw this thing away. Uh, I just don't like it for PvP. Okay, gamers, so let's take a little peek here. There's iron grips. So you can get more stability at the cost of reload speed. Something like this would probably be pretty darn good. The reason I say that is this thing kicks an odd amount. I don't know why it kicks so much or why it feels like it kicks so much, but this iron grip actually might be pretty damn good, especially if you're pairing it with something like dynamic sway reduction. Now, I'm going to test this gun out later, but that doesn't change the fact that you can't see anything while shooting, so I'm not going to be recommending this even if I do get the god roll and it feels nice. There's just better auto rifles in my opinion. I have the Storm. Decent. I'm not sure if it kicks in enough to make it worth it, and I personally am not a big fan of tap the trigger, okay? If I'm shooting my auto rifle, I'm shooting it, I'm holding it down. I don't think tap the trigger is it for me, okay? Now, there's another one here, Iron Gaze, which is interesting. It gives you 20 aim assist at the cost of 40 range. Again, need to play it out, but I think the go to one for me would be this. I understand it'll be uh, slower reload speed, but with the enhanced reload perks and things like that, I think that the stability is probably going to be worth it. Uh, you can get some extra range here with Accurized Rounds. I mean, there are some different scopes, but brothers, I... I don't know if this is gonna matter because the one I've tested, they all look like doo-doo. So the first thing I noticed was, oh my God, the muzzle flash. I've already talked about it, but the gun feels a little chunky. Now, I don't know how to quantify chunk, but it just, it feels like it jumps quite a bit. And maybe that is partially the muzzle flash because I did compare this to something like the gnawing hunger and the recoil pattern, you know, it wasn't that crazy or that different. Uh, I tried a counterbalance mod and honestly it, it almost felt better without the counterbalance mod, but that might be a little bit of placebo effect because I started feeling more comfortable with the weapon. Now, this is a 600 RPM weapon, which means it's good. All 600 RPM auto rifles are solid picks. But is this thing the best? No way. There is no way that I can recommend you grinding your ass off looking for the god roll. Now, again... Maybe if you have that iron grip and you're getting the extra stability, it could be uh, the meta maker. But until that flash goes away, it's going to be like the Misfit. The Misfit auto rifle had decent stats. The Misfit auto rifle had decent rolls. But again, if you can't see your target while you're shooting it, it can't be a good weapon, in my opinion. This thing's got more muzzle flash than the sweet business fully spun up. You might as well just have a flashlight at the end of your gun, because that's about how bright this thing is. Now, I know that I'm going hard on this thing, right? I'm roasting this thing. But the reason why I'm doing it is because there's a very readily available auto rifle, the Gnawing Hunger, this season that you can farm pretty darn easy. There's also something like the Suros. There's the Hard Light. There's the Summoner from doing Trials Bounties or even just getting Trials Wins. There are so many 600 RPMs available right now that why would you not use the best? Why would you not use something that's easier to use that is going to be more user-friendly? It just doesn't make sense. Now, I'm gonna hammer this point one more time, but if you look at the stats of any gun, right? Uh, there's stability, there's range, there's the aim assist values, and this is comparable to a lot of them. It's not like it shines and is the king, but there's another stat that I think is very important, and that is visibility. And I think that in a game like Destiny, where your main focus is to point at someone and shoot them, this one has like an F or F minus tier visibility stat. If you compare it to other guns in the game, this is the worst or one of the worst visibilities there has ever been. And for that reason, I think it is dead on arrival. For me. For me. I was planning on farming the hell out of this thing, and I will test out some different roles. But until that is gone, I just don't want you to get baited. Someone is going to pop off with this gun and they're going to get a seventh column. Even in some of the clips that I did in the first two games, it's like, yeah, you got some triple kills. I got some double kills. Sweet. I could have done that with any auto rifle in the game. I could have done it with a sidearm, boys. I could have, I could have done it with a rusty nail taped to a banana. Okay? Just because you can slay with it 
doesn't mean you should slay with it. Look at the difference in this muzzle flash. Are you, are you, are you catching this? Let me, let me just show you another example so that you can see it full on. Now, this footage really shows the difference in the flash, but it really got me thinking. I think that this is Bungie's first attempt at throwing a flashbang, an effective flashbang into Destiny 2. Now, I know that the Striker Titan has a flashbang grenade, but that's nothing compared to this, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get uh, some scotch tape, maybe even some duct tape. I don't know what uh, would work best in this situation. I want you to tape down the trigger of this thing and then just huck it. Huck it around the corner, throw it around the corner, and if there's anyone there, it's gonna blind them and you just clean them up with your other weapon. It's foolproof. I was thinking to myself, how am I getting so many kills with this gun? I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized, oh, it's because I've caused permanent damage to everyone's eyes in the lobby. I hate this gun. I'm deleting it. Maybe they'll buff it. I don't know. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.